Essentials session seven. Uh, we went over the two ayahs of Al Baqarah, ayah six and ayah seven. Um, we started with, okay, so ayah six begins, Inna Ladina Kafaru. We talked about, okay, so Inna Ladina, when it says Inna, it's an emphasis, right? So indeed, 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 triple emphasis. Inna Ladina, those. Uh, who kafir? We talked about kufr and the the meanings, the many translations of kufar, kafaru, kafir, um, commonly translated as disbelievers, unbelievers. Um, we talked about the literal uh, translation of the word is essentially a farming analogy of uh, of putting taking something, putting it in the ground, and then covering it up so it's away from sight. Um, and the, 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 the kafir, we uh, talked about being someone who feels compelled to turn to Allah, yet they willfully reject. So a better definition is those who reject faith. Right? <clears throat> So, inna ladina kafaru, those who reject faith, sawa'un alayhim, it is the same upon them. Andartuhum, whether you warn them, and we talked about uh, andar, uh, it's common translated as warn them. Amlan tundirhum, or if you don't warn them about Allah, la yu'minun, they don't believe. Um, so, um, it's essentially saying whether you uh, teach them or not, or whether you try to, I guess, tell them about Allah, it's almost like their mind's made up because they've already decided to cover up the truth no matter what it is. Um, so we went on to Ayah 7 then. Khatamallahu ala qulubihim. There is a seal. A seal has been placed uh, by Allah upon their hearts, right? Um, they're seeing and hearing there's a cover place or a block or a seal placed upon their seeing and hearing. We talked about how the pathway, the gateway to the heart is through the sight and sound, right? So when we put a cover upon that, um, it's impossible to get through. To certain types of people, I guess. Um, so, we had the lengthy discussion about predestination versus free will. Um, so, if the question being, if Allah has placed a seal upon them, are they then responsible? If Allah has decided to seal their hearts, um, oh, the ayah ends, وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ upon them is a terrible fate, or a great, terrible fate. Um, so is it fair, so to speak, if Allah has placed a seal upon them, that they then suffer a fate, uh, where seemingly they don't have control over it? So that led into the bigger idea of predestination versus free will. Do we have free will? Or is free will just an illusion? Um, so. We went to uh, Surah Al-Hadid, Al-Hadid, uh, Surah 57, Ayah 22 and 23. Um, and this was in talking about how, uh, as a coping mechanism, right? So the ayah loosely translates to say that nothing happens that is not predestined. Therefore, do not despair nor become boastful. Right? So do not despair when something bad happens. Do not become boastful when something very good happens. Right? Because everything is pre-written. Um, so as, in essence, a coping mechanism for dealing with suffering of this world, or the good things of this world, we give that all to Allah as He has 
uh, pre-written everything. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see. We also talked about how in different societies, the, the common uh, thought process is usually weighted one way or the other. In this society here in the United States, in the Western uh, free secular society, we weigh heavily towards the free will, right, where everyone has control over their destiny and we control our own fates. And that almost gets to a point where it's taken to an extreme, where everyone's own free will is an end of, it, of itself and it could lead to this kind of rampant narcissism as well. Um, but on the flip side of that, in the, you know, back home in the subcontinent or in Arab countries or in African countries, the predestination side uh, weighs very heavily, which can lead to a certain apathy where we have no control over everything. What's the point in trying? Why better ourselves? So we have, uh, as Omar taught us, we have an obligation to recognize this disparity and try to teach uh, the opposite that we see uh, within our society. So we, here we should weigh towards, oh, more heavily towards teaching predestination, that everything is, you know, by the mercy of Allah. And back home to encourage people to think a little more free will, empower themselves. Um, we had a very lengthy discussion about what that means in terms of mercy. Is it then merciful for God, for Allah, to shower extra blessings, so to speak, on whom he wills? Is that fair? Um, so that kind of summarized a very long discussion. Um, and we close with the uh, Omar giving us the, the conclusion that overall in this society, this idea of this predestination versus free will, this conflict, is the largest philosophical issue facing us today. And we will be moving on to Ayah 8 today, talking about Munafiqeen hypocrisy. Okay. So, did we lose someone? Are you guys on? Looks like everyone has left. To kill. Right when I said Everybody that, is. it popped off. You get free will. <laughs> It was yes, exactly. It must have been, right? Oh, no. Or here he is.